time for a special presentation of the NBA on Christmas Day. Joined by Hall of Famer Grant Hill, NBA champion Steve Smith, and our reporter, Ali LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. It's the Los Angeles Clippers taking on the Washington Wizards. He needs a Zubats. Zubats. And the lamp is good off the glass. All right, Grant, go back to your career a little bit now. Talk about some of your more memorable Christmas Day games. Wow. You know, I think my most memorable was my first Christmas Day game. In 1996, we played in Chicago. Yeah, you know, I had a, a nice 27 against Scottie Pippen. But in fairness to Pip, he gave me 27 as well. So we kind of evened up. To the paint. Here's Gafford. Yes, it's good. Slick feed by Beal, taking advantage of the hole in the defense to set up a wide open man. Ibaka's shot is off. Pass to Dinwiddie. Here's Beal. The three. It's hauled in by the Clippers. This game coming after the loss versus the Kings. I'll tell you what, once things started to go downhill, their performance plummeted. They wound up getting pretty ugly. That's his first surprise. They put up so little fight. That was not the team I expected to see that night. He needs a Zubat. And Zubat drops them both. And you look at Serge Ibaka's defense. I mean, still solid overall. Not the rim protector, though, that he once was. And the dunk by Gafford. Explosive leaping ability allows him to play the five, even though he's a little undersized. Paul George. Nice shot by George. A reliable jump shooter. Paul George's accuracy only goes up when he catches in rhythm. And you know, Grant, with Ibaka on defense, for a while, he was one of the best shot blockers in the league. I mean, he still changes shots, just doesn't block them. He's also more disciplined on leaving his feet. I mean, he can still turn a few shots away every so often. Look at the power on that. He has to be one of the top dunkers in the game today. Beal's shot is good. Yeah, Beal is a real volume three-point shooter. The defense cannot afford to let him get hot from the arc. George outside. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. That's his first person. And Gafford picks one up. Second team. The defense there doing whatever they can to protect the rim. For LA. Paul and with Paul George Grant, you know what he delivers. Very consistent in what he'll bring to each game. I mean, the scoring is always going to be there. But his defense doesn't take a night off either. I mean, very nice and consistent production from him. This is basketball 101. This is the size mismatch you look to create. And the oh, jam good. by George. Good vision, good decision by Reggie. Pushing for a better shot, finds an open man. Here's Dinwiddie. The Clippers getting their last shot to go. Stolen by Jackson. In transition, here come the Clippers. He goes up. Ibaka, good. And they've That's settled in quickly two. today. A nice oh, flow and rhythm to their offense. Washington trailing. To the middle. Here's Gafford. And the dunk by Gafford. You see his link, the explosion, making sure of that. Changing it up here. Your Wizards dancing. Let's make some noise. 
There's a minute 47 left in the opening quarter. Bledsoe outside. Here's Batum. Offline with a three. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. They get it back. Beal. And the bucket counts, and he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. Free throw drops for Beal. What I admire about Bradley Beal is his steady growth. Not just in his overall game, but how he's embraced becoming a leader. He's someone his teammates really look up to. Out to the right wing. And the officials call goaltending, so they'll award the basket. Yeah, it was just a little late. I mean, he thought he got there, but the ref saw it otherwise. We've got 113 left in the first quarter. Inside. And Carroll with the strong finish. I mean, a dunk machine dating back to high school. Montrez Harrell is an absolute monster around the rim. To the inside. And that's Marcus good. Morris. His first bucket of the game. When they get their opportunity to punch it inside, they don't hesitate. Beal goes in. Pass to Caldwell Pope. Kuzma outside. And here's Beal. Back to Kuzma. Just four to shoot. The Wizards need to get off a shot here. Here's Harold. Yes. And a nice assist from Dinwiddie. Good boy, oh boy. Both teams lighting it up to start this game. And you wonder how long they can keep it going. At some point, you expect the defense will adjust. And that one makes him two Marcus for two. Morris He's in his team. rhythm. That's what Bledsoe's there for. Create offense and run the show. They depend on him to be an effective point. Chalk up two there. I can't believe that went in, and I don't think he can either. From about 16. You're this type of effort excites coaches. Kuzma working hard on the One defensive team. end. The Clippers. And so, lots of scoring in a competitive first quarter. The Clippers on top. They're up by one. Quarter number two coming up right after this break. Don't go anywhere. All right, coming on to the court, makes the noise. And welcome back, one and all, for more NBA Christmas Day action. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Clippers guys. Well, we've watched them force their way to the line, and it seems to be working so far. They just look hungrier out there. They don't mind taking the pounding. Unable to get the ball in bounds. And they got called for a five-second violation. Here's George. Nine points in the game. He buries it from three. Three-point field goal. George has got 12 points. All right, Smitty, looking back at your career, you were named an all-star scoring 20 points a game. But you also played a few years as a role player. What do you think the key was to that transition? You know, B.A., you have to always embrace being a great teammate, no matter what the role is. Of course, winning a ring, like I did with the Spurs, that makes coming off the bench much easier. Gives us a chance to catch up with Ali LaForce. Thanks, Brian. Well, just about every discussion of the NBA trade market comes back to the Washington Wizards. An all-star shooting guard Bradley Beal on a team that hasn't made the playoffs in three seasons, something's got to give. And guys with Beal possessing an opt-out after this season, expect those talks to intensify. That's his first That's a good point. First you know, he was the 24th pick in 2011. I think it's LA. safe for us to say Reggie Jackson's Jackson. outplayed that draft slot. Taking two shots. Timeout on the floor. Clippers timeout. So Jackson nails both of them. 
Dinwiddie with it. Looking for his first basket still in this one. The three. The offensive rebound. Back to Harold. Five on the clock. Pass to Beal. From the arc. The rebound by Jackson. The Clippers in the lead. And then Beal with the dunk. One of the most desired trade targets in the league. Seemingly every year, Beal is just a ball. Jackson. Woo! Defensively, you can't afford to let him get to the rim that easily. Well, that might be why their deficit is what it is right now. It's a backbreaker for your defense, giving up easy buckets like that. Hard to turn down a look that good. Still, long twos are losing favor, and misses like that are the reason why. In terms of offense, they've been the more efficient team by far. They've had better patience, better shot selection so far, but we still have a long way to go. And it's the Clippers on the break. And the dunk by Jackson. Hard to keep up with Reggie when he gets out in space. And on top of that, an excellent finisher. Beal, no good. Missing that one helps out all the analytical guys from the mid-range. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. Jackson outside. With efforts to grow the game in Europe, and Asia, and Africa, really everywhere from the NBA. Brad, how do you see the future of this game? Well, I think it lies in the young international stars. I mean, you see guys like Luka and Nikola Jokic from Europe and Joel Embiid from Africa. I think we'll see more and more of that as the league and the popularity of basketball grows overseas. I mean, those guys will have the drive and the examples to succeed overseas. Now here's George. This is the most they've led, 13 points. Pass to Beal. Can they get it? Knocks it down from distance. Beal's got five points now in the quarter. Efficient performance from him. Not the case for everyone else on his team. Remaining in his second, second foul in as many minutes. quarters. We'll see if he backs off Washington or foul. stays aggressive. Spencer Here's Jackson. That's his second And the 18-footer right on the mark. Fourth team foul. Jackson's got eight points. Never substitution. And what's working here? Each guy is willing to make Good the next goodness. pass. Reggie Jackson. Blocking foul called on. Reggie Jackson. That's his first personal foul. And Beal launches from foul. deep. They might want to get away from the three-point shot. It's really Reggie been dragging Jackson. them down. That's and it's out of bounds. Foul. Last touch by Kuzma. First team foul. And the Clippers making a change here. Bounds. Clippers ball. 141 left Clippers to play in the second quarter. Isaiah Hartenstein. Jackson outside. George outside. Kennard right side. Beyond the arc. Dinwiddie with a rebound. And the Wizards with possession here. Down by 12. This game against Los Angeles here. Their first look at the Clippers. Batum shot is off. Mm, I'm not sure what happened on that play. May have relaxed a little bit once he got to the rim. Off the mark once again. Terrible quarter for him thus far. Pass to Hartenstein. Here's Kennard. And that one's long. Down low. Here's Caldwell Pope. Now Harold. Kuzma for three. And he can't get that one. On offense, here are the Clippers. They're on an 18-7 run. Jackson can't get it to go. Here's Caldwell Pope. On the wing, Caldwell Pope. Puts the move on. Puts up a three. Hits the trifecta. It appears their offense is lacking some balance right now. Maybe too much reliance on the three ball. George, left side. 
To the wing, right side. Batum. Nicholas Batum. It's good. Set up beautifully by George. Batum's got five. Excellent pass, PG-13. Keeping his eyes up. And so it's Los Angeles. Going into the break, up 12. They put in work down low, getting in close and scoring in bunches. Back to the game after this break. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly in the second. Trying to make up ground here. And with plenty of time left, you want to play with urgency, but not desperation. A savage reverse jam. That takes great body control. No question. He was making a statement right there, man. And talk about a signing that went under the radar. Spencer Dinwiddie joining this Wizards ball club. Now, he steps in as a vet guard to lead this young team. And I'm excited to see what Dinwiddie can do as a team leader. Now here's Ibaka. Averaging around five points a game. Here's Zubats. Ooh, Harrell with the denial. Plays with so much grit and toughness. Harrell loves to wreak havoc on the defense. And it's good. Fought through contact. Hit the shot and will go to the line. Here's Bledsoe. Providing this team some offensive stability. A little over 10 points a game. Here's Ibaka. And the jam by Ibaka. Eric Bledsoe. Wow, that was a nice athletic roll out of the screen. Ibaka moves with tremendous ease. Dinwiddie outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Pass to Caldwell Pope. Fires for three. And again, Washington, no good. Here's George. Bad drops. Oh, and it comes off an assist from Bledsoe. Eric Bledsoe. And it's an 11 point Clipper lead. So far, George's competitive play has worked well. He's getting just about everything to fall. Dinwiddie. And another miss by Washington. Miss opportunity. It's a makeable shot for him. He just can't get it to go. Back to George. Pass to Zubac. And the Clippers again with a bucket. A lot of basketball comes down to recognizing mismatches and taking advantage of them like he did. Beal outside. Count it. That's his six field goal and 12 tries. His position might be shooting guard, but Beal has no problems taking it inside. Bledsoe goes in. Here's Zubats. Tries again. That shot off. And Washington the other way now. Here's Caldwell Pope. No good with the triple. And it's the Clippers ball. Two minutes. And Bradley Beal is going to pick up the foul. That's foul number two for him. Washington foul. Bradley Beal. That's his second personal foul. First team foul. L.A. timeout call. Coming on to the floor for the Clippers. Now here's Kennard. What? No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Takes it inside. And the powerful one-handed slam. And staring at a sizable deficit, the defense has to tighten up. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Ali LaForce. In 2016, the NBA Players Association made history, voting to extend health insurance to retired players with at least three years of service. Chris Paul said, quote, they paved the way for our game. 
This is just the little that we could do. Whenever my tenure is up as president of the union, that will be easily the greatest achievement. Brian? Boy, that is big time, Allie. Good stuff there. Thank you for that. Now here's Beal. He's got 15. On the wing, Kuzma. 20 feet out. That one's wide left. This is how it's been so far. He's missed every shot he's taken, and the team is suffering the consequences. Isaiah Hartenstein. Assistant. And he dunks it. What a pass to set him up. Nice find by Luke. Shows good vision in both half court and in transition. This is why you're trying to get him as many touches as possible. He's got the deck. And Isaiah adds a Hart. few more points to their lead. Showing off some style. Wow, that was prime time stuff right there. Beal, right side. On the wing, Kuzma. Six to shoot. From deep three-point range. And he recovers it. Three-pointer, Beal. Batum pulls it in. Now Los Angeles with it. It's a 14-point game. Next up on the schedule, the Nuggets, a home game. And that's the first of just two home games for them. Exploding to the rim, Luke Kadar slams it in. His offensive energy is a difference maker. And he goes right after the guy who just scored on him. Oh, he made sure to return the favor. He can't get it to go. Excellent D there from Dinwiddie. Three-pointer, Beal. And that's not going to go. And so it's Los Angeles. You're a wizard. A sizable lead of 14 at the break. They hold a real solid lead right now. Love their approach tonight. We'll be right back after this word. It's the fourth quarter. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. Bledsoe outside. On the take. Out of bounds as Los Angeles keeps possession. Los Angeles ball. Ball stolen. Two on one as they jump out on the break. And here's Dinwiddie from the arc. That one's in there on the nice assist from Beal. They need to run plays for him, get him more touches, whatever it takes to get him producing. Pass to Kuzma. Harrell with it. To the left wing. It's Beal on the wing. And the Wizards with another three. The consistency of Beal's scoring has been terrific. And of course, his teammates keep working hard to facilitate to him. <laughs> Attacking the rim with power. Tremendous finish. Here's Harold. And Harold with the strong finish. A dynamic finish, then decides to hang out a little for good measure. <laughs> yep, that's the exclamation point right there. Man, that's now 10 straight points in the paint. I'm not sure what's happened to their defense, man. Dinwiddie outside. Pass to Harold. Shoots from 12. Not going to go that time. And so here are the Clippers. At one point, they led by 16. And here's Bledsoe from the left block. And the Clippers again with a bucket. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Pass to Harrell. Back to Dinwiddie. From 11 feet away. And Harrell with the strong finish. One side of a great playmaker hitting his man in stride. Here's Mann. Kicks it out to Bledsoe. 
from behind the arc. The Clippers rebound. Out to the wing. George left side. Good. And that makes him six for nine. A quality game for him so far. At six foot eight, Paul George is a threat inside, looking very comfortable from in there. And the basket by Harold. You know he's pulling his weight, but they still find themselves behind. Washington foul. Spencer Dan Witty. That's his fourth personal foul. First team foul. And we're about three minutes into the fourth now. Four for the Clippers. His man. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Clippers. What tremendous passing we've seen from them today. A very unselfish performance all around. They've also worked very hard to get the ball inside and have been able to get and hit a lot of high percentage shots in this game. That's the pass you want, orchestrating the offense, creating for others. Here's George. That one no good. And Washington the other way now. Here in the fourth quarter, just under two and a half gone by. Terrence Mann. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. To the middle. Blocked! Plenty of space. Jump shot is good. And the Clippers leap by 13. What vision from Bledsoe. A point who can score it and dish it. Tipped! Inside. And he goes in for Marcus the dunk. Morris, senior. They came out and had a statement win with their performance tonight. A fantastic effort to get it done here for the Clippers. They made a point to get some good looks. Yes, they were able to pound the ball inside. I love it. And a good performance Watching to bring them their 18th win of the year. And having this win on the books might give them a little mental advantage the next two times these squads meet. And what a huge performance it was for, for Paul George. Terrence and Mann. how many times throughout the course of the evening did he make a momentum-changing play? I thought his relentlessness really keyed their success. The NBA has a major presence in Africa now, and you were a big part of making that happen, Grant. Yeah, no, it's very exciting. And to work with the NBA and strategic investors over on the continent in Africa, it's not just a great investment, but you're also doing the right thing, spreading the game, sharing the game, and giving people on the continent the joy that basketball brings to everyone. Three-pointer, Beal drills it from deep. Coming down the stretch, they've leaned on the perimeter game. You know, when you're raining threes, you can stack up points in a hurry, but it can go the other way Easy. as well. Zubats. This is what winning is all about. Playing your best when it matters most. It's called killer instinct. It's one thing to be close at the end. It's another to finish. Coming onto the floor for the Clippers. Serge Ibaka. Luke Kennard. 23 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. Here's Kuzma. The bank shot, no good. And here are the Clippers now. Here's Mann. Driving to the basket. And he drew the blocking foul. So he'll go to the line to shoot a pair. It's going to be on Bradley Beal. And he makes a first. Wizards foul. Bradley Beal. That misses, so he splits the free throws. And Beal launches from deep. Harold, it's good on the putback. A terrific offensive rebounder. Harold's energy is what helps him collect second chance opportunities. His man nails it. Excellent effort on the road. They've literally the sucked the, the energy out of this arena. And when you're